And hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside of Entanglement. And guys, the day has come. Sorry, not for an enchant table. <laughs> uh, that was probably super underwhelming for most of you. But yeah, basically, uh, I was able to kind of fix this out off camera, make it look nice. But today, we are... I realize that there's still some stuff left to do um, besides make the glass dome. So first off, let's face it, we're going to need a path going down here, okay? Like, that's just... It's a must, basically. Um, so yeah, I basically dug out each side so that we can have a cobble path going down each side. Now you may be saying, well, why would you cut your potato slash wheat supply in half? And the truth is, I'm not going to. Because if I put potatoes on either side here and wheat on either side here, I'm still going to have the same amount. And as you notice, I just ditched the berry and melon farm because I was not using those at all, especially with all the meat I have. I, I have to make a bunch of smokers and get some meat going, because... Well, let's just take a look at our naturals chest. Yeah, we have a lot of food to cook. We got all these potatoes, we got all this chicken, all this beef. Yeah, we are super good on food for a while. But today, guys, what we are going to be doing is... um. Yeah, we are just going to be getting done whatever needs to be done. I have a vision kind of in my head for what I want, but to be honest, I'm not incredibly sure what I want. Um, all I know is I want kind of a glass dome. doesn't necessarily have to be a circle. Um, it just needs to go all the way around this part of the garden to, you know, have a spot that has some nice little natural light coming in. And, yeah, we just have this one-by-one one cobblestone path going around each side. You scared me, sir. I thought you were a creeper. <laughs> I, th I thought so what she was a creeper. Because I think the movement out of the corner of my eye blended with the grass, which made him look like a creeper moving. I'm just now realizing it's possible well, that I'm going to, A, fall off, and B... That we can run out of glass. I really thought that I had enough for this build. Because, you know, like, it's a good amount of glass, but it's not a super big amount of glass or anything. Like, <sighs> But I guess that this is kind of what we're going to be dealing with here. So, yeah, we're just going to go around this one more time. And now, after that... I think I'm going to want an open roof, but here's the question. Sh should I make it so that it goes like over this part or over the whole thing? You know what? Yeah, let's make it sexy. Um, we are going to put some cobble there, some cobble. Oh, oh. Okay, I can't run in a straight line. <laughs> Never been able to do anything straight, to be honest. Can't draw straight, can't run straight. Yeah, I can walk straight, otherwise that'd be a problem if I ever got pulled over by the cops. <laughs> uh, they would think I was on something, but... Yeah, so we're gonna put that cobble there, and we're gonna see if this looks good, basically. So... Yeah, we are going to uh, take this glass, and we are, I don't want to, like, I'm going to have to put a circle around there anyway, but right now we are just going to focus on getting a roof over this part of the garden. And then we're going to plant everything, plop some fences down. And probably need to work on a furnace room. I just really love how this house is coming right along, man. I absolutely love it. I'm all about it. But anyway. So. We have this part here. Now. We'll just plop that down there. If we go down here. First off. Does this look good? I think what 
I'm not liking about this is the fact that we have this one strip of dirt between uh, the top floor of our house and the bottom floor of our house. So I think I'm going to destroy the dirt on this side and just uh, replace that with cobble. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have no clue where the seed went, but honestly, I don't. <laughs> I don't really care because we just have so many seeds uh, around here. Oh, just shot the ground. So, ah oh man, I can't place. Why? Why did I? I always sprint on gardens. Like, yeah. If when Mitch and I used to have survival worlds together, he absolutely hated me for it because I would always sprint and jump on his beautiful farms and. Yeah, really, really, sometimes I wonder how Mitch and I get along so well in games when, yeah. Also, do I still don't know, there's still these spots of the garden where I can't plant, and I really don't know how or why that's a thing. But anyway, let's grab our potato out of here, and let's plant some taters. Uh, oh man, we're not going to be... There's somewhere along here... Yeah, there's that big strip where we aren't going to be able to plant anything. Uh, how, somehow that got untilled, but it should be fine. Put that there. We can put... Oh yeah, no we can't. We can't put that there, because the game's dumb. The game is just dumb like that. I don't know why we can't place potatoes there, but we can't. Okay, so, this is how the basic layout of our garden is going to be. I'm honestly not too concerned with the fact that we can't grow a lot at once simply because, yeah, if I just grind at the skelly spawner for just a little bit, yeah, we get a lot of bone meal. I actually have a lot of bone meal just sitting in here as we speak. But now what we are going to be working on First off, I need to get some food in my inventory. don't know why I'm not walking around without food. Um, man, I'm going to need to cook some food off camera, aren't I? I'm going to need to cook a lot, a lot of food. But, yeah, we are going to go into our wood chest, grab some sticks. Do I not have any? Oh, I have fences here. I plan to try to fence in that entire path that goes around our house that I showed off last episode, but for now, I just want to put some stairs here. Very nice, very nice. Really like how that looks. And, um, ooh, my torches should be in here. Yeah, these are all my torches. Uh, let's go to our riches chest. I believe I have, yeah, I have a couple of, uh, nuggets, but... Yeah, we're just going to take this, and we need to make a lantern. Why? Because I still have not finished the area outside of our house that needs a lantern. So yeah, let's put those back in there. Uh, I believe I need those fences for other things, too. I also need to light up this place. There's still plenty of things to be done. But the progression that we have seen in these last couple of episodes pretty crazy. Like, Mitch griefing me honestly made me play much, much more. Oh yeah, and our little fox, unnamed... Oh, oh, hi! That's Skelly. That's the thing about living in this certain area. There, Skelly, mob survivability is super, um, yeah. It's very high. <laughs> in Spruce Forest, mobs do not die because there's just so many thick trees. But yeah, I really need to... I wonder why they're... Oh, and my helmet broke after he gave me the headshot. Let's put down some torches right there. This room's lit up nicely. Is this room? Nope. I can guarantee you that it's because of all the... <laughs> so many skeletons have exploded in this hall. I can't... Yeah, I can't explain how many skeletons have exploded there, but... Yeah, ooh, we still need to work on our room, too. There are monsters nearby? What, in this room? Oh, yeah, a skeleton spawned in there. 
Listen, I've tried lighting up this place. Oh no, 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 no. We're gonna, we're not gonna talk about how close I was to death there. Um, yeah, that's the thing. This world's been going on for a while now, which I believe means that more mobs spawn in here in the areas that aren't lit up. So yeah, I'm, I'm not taking any chances right now. I am not taking any chances. Our property is not well lit up. To be honest, I haven't been good this entire series about lighting stuff up. We've been creatures of the night uh, for most of this series. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have to do? We still have four minutes left. Let's work on taking our fern eye and anvil and crafting tables. And we're, we need a workshop, and I think that that's what I'm going to make this particular room right here. So, we have two furnaces, probably going to make a lot more. So yeah, let's put those there, smoker there, furnace there. Uh, and then we can put down a crafting table and an anvil. So, I need to make a lot more furnaces so yeah two more not a lot but yeah it should work basically we are going to try to convert this area into a workroom after we get potions going which actually <laughs> i just realized there's nothing stopping us from making potions so yeah what miscellaneous blocks do we have let's let's take some good old diorite see how this looks. It honestly kind of looks like a... It kind of looks like it could work, but... Yeah, let's take this nether wart. Go upstairs with our soul sand. Also, this is an area that is in desperate need of light. Yeah, that needed to happen. I want to see how this certain design works. So, like, let's say we put that there, that there... How's that look? I think if I made it correctly proportioned that that might actually look really good. Where's my pickaxe? Yeah. Let's see. Does that look good? I think it looks good. The only reason that this would be an issue too is if we... Um, yeah, if we needed to expand our furnaces, which we have this entire wall area right here so yeah don't think that should be happening very soon but uh i kind of want to now that i think about it, since we have so much food i kind of want to turn two of these into smokers and it's not like we're gonna have a hard time making more furnaces like we have cobble for days so yeah i think i'm actually going to take these two and then we're going to cut down ourselves some eight logs out here. I believe that's how you make a furnace. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. There's that tree gone. And then we'll just top, chop down this tree. We'll know for a fact that we have enough to make two smokers. And to end off this episode, I'm going to start that food cooking. And by the beginning of next episode... Uh, there should, it should be pretty, pretty good. Um, also, if we get, like, a bunch of potion stuff going, we have a sugar cane farm going, which means that we are going to be able to just make a bunch of speed pots. Why do we need speed pots? I don't know. I honestly don't, but, yeah, let's go over here to this crafting table. I believe that this is how you make a smoker. Yep, that's how you make a smoker. So let's put two of everything in there. We got two smokers. We'll put either on this side. We just have the one lonely blast furnace I made at the beginning of the series. Yeah, more of those would probably... In fact, getting rid of our furnaces in general and just making them into... Actually, no, because you need regular furnaces to smelt stone. But besides that... Like, what else are you going to use them for? Besides... 
doing that. Also, e everywhere in here just needs more light. I'm gonna be honest. Like, this entire place just needs much, much more light. It's very dark down in our basement. So yeah, I'm gonna finish... Yeah, let's put it, like, there instead. And then here. And then there. And then let's just destroy that torch. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, we've about ran out of time this episode, guys. So we're just gonna start off next episode with that. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Entanglement. I'll catch you all on the next wave.